Hey, bubbling, coming in, crushing this art. Right. So I wanted to make a quick video just talking about dry personalities and what to love um, and I guess what to hate about them though. I don't really, I don't really hate anybody. Um, but either way, I, I've recently met somebody um, who only talks um, in terms of their business and their art and their passion and also only gets to know people through how they interact with their business and their art and their um, passion. Um, I do kind of connect this a little bit to the Capricorn energy. They were also a Capricorn. Um, but, but man, I love it. Like, I see how so many people wouldn't like that. Like, I wouldn't hang out with them beyond what I'm trying to learn from their business, right? But what I see from this is if, if you are really dry and you're not relating, like, where does this get you? This gets you into a place where you're only going to interact with people that have to do with your purpose. You're not going to find anything else. This is such an amazing quality, in my opinion. Like, obviously, when someone, like, wants you to be a little more relatable, wants you to kind of come into their zone, this is going to be not someone that you can necessarily rely on some, so much, right, if they have a very dry personality. But at the same time, like, this is someone who's only going to stick to their lane, create structures and responsibilities and connections around it, and that's all they're going to be about like as someone who wants to create my own business wants to create my own artistry like this is something I very much admire because this isn't someone that's going to get lost in anything else like it's a sort of um, like obsessive uh, sort of quality in a way and and uh, man I just love it so uh, yeah I just wanted to share my thoughts on like dry personalities right on how like there's the the positive side in that someone's only going to mind their own business and so every connection or development they have is going to be really true to themselves but the negative side is well if you don't have a solid business art or direction you're just going to be a very closed off and egoic person right but at the same time like it may just not be fucked with as well like people may not fuck with a personality like this just because they want someone to cater them they want someone to more so come into their business but that 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 in itself is like um um, like someone not fulfilling their own space and not finding connections that can actually relate with them, right? Like you need to find someone who can really connect to your purpose. And then even that person being selfish is going to feel selfless. You know what I mean? Cause I only interacted with this person when I wanted to learn from their business, right? So when I wanted to learn, like they were a martial artist, when I wanted to learn martial arts, that's what I'm doing around them. I'm not going to them to really speak too deeply about philosophy. I'm not going to them to really like express my emotions. You know, I'm going there to learn from their business. And if, that's what you want to do then a dry personality is someone because they've only stuck to their moves can really exalt where you're coming from and tune you into that you know so it's like man i just really admired that quality uh like i said as someone who's trying to develop my own business because that's not someone who's going to get lost right and i get how some people may not really fuck with that because it seems so one-sided but at the same time how else are we going to develop structures how else are we going to um really create our own space right if we're not closed off in a certain way so i just wanted to share that i thought it was very interesting i love dry personalities some people may not but man all the love bubbling citra beach out